As in the previous video, we have already seen the communication between the Node.js server with the MongoDB. Now, in this video, we are going to do the similar thing but using another module of Node called Mongoose. Mongoose is basically an ODM that is Object Document Mapper which will do the communication in a more clear way. Like here, first of all, you will have to create a structure, a schema which will give the structure of any particular document, how it will be, which are the fields will be there and what are the constraints which you want to apply. And after creating a particular schema, we will start dealing with it, like reading the data, manipulating the data and so on. So let's go quickly and see how we can do such implementations in Node.js. For using Mongoose, first of all, I'll have to create a schema which will contain the structure of the document on which you want to work. That schema will contain the fields name, the data type and the constraints, whichever you want to put it and this app.js which will do all the connectivity things. So first of all, let's see what is there in the schema.js. As you can see here, I have used mongoose and assert. We have already used assert, but mongoose is new to this. So first of all, you'll have to install this mongoose package in your application. And right after that, you can see like I have created a schema using this schema property and the name of the schema which I'm creating here is tutorial schema. You can put anything out here and there are two things. First is topic and description. Both are of string type and both are required. For topic, I also put unique to true. You can also use this timestamp to true which will add a couple of fields in your document that is created at and updated at. It will store the complete timestamp when this document is created and last updated. And once you have specified all the fields right here, you can export this particular module like this. As you can see here, mongoose.model in which I have first of all specified the collection name that is tutorials and second it's the schema name that is tutorial schema. And after that I have exported this with the name tutorials and right here in this app.js I have used this tutorials module again. Along with that I have used mongoose and assert. So like in the previous we have done in the mongodb the same connection string is being used connect method in order to get the connection. If there is any error while making the connection on error we are handling that. Otherwise if it is successfully open we are giving a message like connected. Now let's create a new document here in which tutorials and then topic express.js and description express framework. These are the couple of things and then it is saved and whenever you will do the find option it will again print all the data. So let's see how this output will look like. All right, you will have to put this path in the double quotes or single quotes. So let's execute it now. And here you can see in the same collection mongodb node.js.net and the fourth is here express.js. So this is how you can establish a communication with the mongodb from node.js either from mongodb module or from mongoose module.